Hey everyone, this is Rob Yang of robertyang.net and I have one question for you. Are you stealing your hormones? Now you may be thinking, Rob, what are you talking about? How can my body steal its own hormones? Well, I'm going to show you in a minute exactly how that's happening. And it could be happening to you. It could be happening to your patients if you're a doctor. It could be happening uh, to your patients if you're a physical therapist, a chiropractor, if you're a fitness professional. It could be happening to your client as well. It could be happening to me. No one's immune to it. So I'm going to show you on the whiteboard how this is happening. Now, the way your body produces hormones starts with a couple of ingredients. B5, we've got an all-important necessary ingredient, which is cholesterol. Most people think cholesterol is bad for you, but really you need cholesterol to make your hormones. And that's a whole other segment. But you need cholesterol to make your hormones. Now, from cholesterol, you produce a hormone called pregnenolone. And pregnenolone is what we call the mother hormone. So you'll see a lot of the hormones can be produced from pregnenolone. From pregnenolone, you can get DHEA, which is dehydroepiandosterone. It's what we consider to be the anti-aging hormone. Now from DHEA, your body can produce other hormones such as estrogen as well as testosterone. So you can see this pathway is quite important because those are your important sex hormones for males as well as females. Now from pregnenolone, your body produces a hormone called progesterone. And for some of you that know out there, progesterone are very popular with, let's say, someone who's maybe premenopausal. They're using progesterone creams to help with hot flashes and so forth. Um, well, progesterone, uh, your body can make two other important hormones. Uh, one of them is cortisol, and another one is called aldosterone. Now, aldosterone is not really talked about very much, but that's very important for water balance within the body. So if someone has excessive water bloating um, and water retention, then aldosterone could be part of the problem. I'm going to focus on cortisol, not cholesterol, but cortisol, because cortisol is very important in the body. It's one of the hormones that's produced in times of stress. So if we take, for example, if you're in the woods and you're camping and you're hiking, and all of a sudden you come across a bear, and you're either going to run away or you're going to fight like hell to try to survive. So your body's going in a fight or flight. Your body produces adrenaline, produces cortisol as well. And your body recognizes that stress the same. doesn't matter if it's a bear or if it's a fight with your boss or your spouse or your kids. Or it could be that you got a ticket on the way to the office. Uh, it could be from nutritional stresses. You're eating too much sugar, not enough protein, not balancing your blood sugar could be too much chemicals in your diet. Um, there's all sorts of stressors comes in many different forms, mental, emotional, physical. Uh, it could be electromagnetic, um, cell phones. I mean, that's a whole other deal. But my point is that we're bombarded by stress from all different angles. And so your body is producing cortisol to try to handle and manage that stress. Now, stress is good. You want some, not too much, not too little. But nowadays, we're bombarded by stress. And so what ends up happening and how your body steals the hormones is this. Remember, pregnenolone is the mother hormone. Now, when you're fully stressed out and you've got too much on your plate and all these things are happening, what tends to happen is these, the pregnenolone gets shunted to make progesterone and then to make cortisol. So it's what we call pregnenolone steal. And what ends up happening is that the pregnenolone gets stolen to make cortisol and guess what? Nothing passes on to produce DHEA, testosterone, or estrogen. So you're having these females that are having all sorts of symptoms during their menstrual cycle. Or uh, let's say a menopausal woman who's having hot flashes like crazy. Um, and even males um, having very high estrogen levels. So I'm testing all the time with males, um, the athletic population as well as the non-athletic population, and lower testosterone levels. So I'm getting males that are using Viagra. And we're not talking males in their 50s or 60s. We're talking about mid-30s, um, youngest 
male client was 35 and he's using Viagra because he's having a hard time getting an erection. So it's not just the females, but it's also the males as well that are having these problems. And one of the culprits is this pregnenolone steal of how a lot of the pregnenolone and the resources are getting stolen to make cortisol because that is not being managed. Your stress is not mean, being managed. And that's why the body is just trying to produce as much cortisol to be in fight or flight to protect the body. So as you can see, it's very simple what's happening here. And so really, the root cause of the problem here and the solution is really managing your stress with helping to normalize cortisol. And I would say in my practice, hands down, the base and foundation, besides the supplements and all the testing, all these different things, is that you have to, you must, I don't care what anybody says, but you must control blood sugar. So you have to control your blood sugar throughout the day. You can't skip meals. you got to eat breakfast. You've already heard me talk about how important breakfast is, um, important, most important meal of the day. Um, you've got to eat enough protein throughout the day. So those are just simple foundational principles to controlling your cortisol, which in the long run helps to control cortisol, not get an overflow to cortisol, but also gets the normal flow to produce your testosterone, your estrogen, your, and your sex hormones. So I hope that helps you understand of how you can be stealing your hormones and what you can do about it. So until next time, eat well to feel well.